All right, hey guys, this is Designer Dive for Leftbox, and today is the second episode of a little YouTube series or, you know, video series of the hand-selected Mac apps um, that I have going on. So today we'll be looking at a pretty interesting and cool app to help you manage your time and, you know, just if you're not really a person to write down stuff or, you know, just want to have a calendar all the time. In front of you so today what we'll be looking at is an app called blotter and what blotter is it takes your calendar from built into your Mac and I believe it can also use your Google Cal own oh, okay you, you can only use iCal and it allows you to display them and you know come to think of it I really think you can add in your other calendars or like sync it up with your other calendars like you have elsewhere and you know you can see you can color coordinate them based on work you know home or any other tags or labels you specify so this is the website you can go to wireload.net and find a product here of course this app is not free it's uh, 10 bucks in the app store but it's well worth the amount of money um, you know, it really helps to keep track of time and, you know, your events that's coming up in a more, you know, presentable way. It's not in your face. It's not, you know, blocking you or something like that because, you know, it's transparent as you can see. So enough of this. Let's fire it up and take a look at the features. So when you first start it out, it's going to look like this where it's... You know it doesn't take up much of the screen and you know with the basic default settings so we're gonna go and hit preference you could choose whether you want to open it login you can show you want to show the, the dates instead of just you know Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday you can say Tuesday January June 5th or you know something like that and um, you can choose to show the week before you or the week um, after like it starts only on the Friday like today is Friday and it only shows the days after that but if you deselect this it shows the week that you're currently in you're in the week of the third to the ninth so it won't show um, anything after that but I personally um, prefer to have it to show the rest of the days because I've already completed all my tasks and events before that you can choose to fade um, if it's not active, if you're not hovering over it, it, you can choose to, let's just try that out. Um, let's put it to five seconds. And um, you can choose to hide the menu bar icon. And positioning, this is where you can kind of do a custom and you can select how much you want of it to show. You can do like this, like that. And you see it changes in the background. Um, and yeah, this is the calendars you can create. You can select the ones you want. Of course, you have to base it off iCal. So once you go in iCal, you can create your different calendars like the work. And let's just say we create, um, okay, um, new group. Let's just say fun. Um, of course, you have to refresh this. Um, I guess when you restart the app, it'll, it'll recognize that. but. You can also create shortcuts. So my personal favorite is Control N for new event and Control T for new task. So let's just hide the menu icon, and um, of course to restart. You don't need to be running this app. Um, you see how it fades away, and then so let's just go Control N, and you have a new task because you can like a task at a certain time. You can have all day today, and it will show you that. So, you know, that's pretty much it for this app. Hope you like it and see you in the next episode.